out what we got going here we're building a 10 foot by 10 foot cayman enclosure if you look around this is kind of half of the base that we got going on um or the footprint of the enclosure and then half the wall height and we'll extend that once we get the actual bottom portion done uh, so what we're doing here now at this point is we're going to install these walls over here, screw them in, build another one right here, just kind of make that more stable where the pond's going to be. Uh, so it's kind of going to look like this side over here. And then we're going to get the styrofoam placed in between these studs for the pond floor and get some plywood up on the walls and go from there. <laughs> so we got started on the new enclosure for the Cayman. When uh, when you get something like a Cayman or any alligator species, you have always got to think about what you're going to put them in next because they grow quick and you never want to run out of enclosure before they get too big. <laughs> yeah, so. Because an enclosure is a big commitment. It's probably going to take us quite a while to finish this enclosure off so they're almost going on three years now the Cayman are and they don't quite need something this big yet but we want to make sure we have it all done and ready it's gonna be 10 foot by 10 foot total area so it's basically the size of a small small bedroom yep and the water area we already have framed up over here this big area that's going to basically be five foot by ten foot and then uh three feet deep uh right now two it's and a half like a foot and a half to two foot deep two foot yeah it's probably two foot deep the depth of the water is not necessarily the most important part you just want to have enough water volume that you can make sure that you have clean water for them all the time and enough for them to fully submerge themselves yeah um, so really you could probably go to 12 inches of water if you really wanted, but I don't know to me That's not as Good I guess yeah, I don't know and uh, You want to have about three times their length or yeah three times the length and I think twice the width Something like that. Uh, so this is not even going to be the final enclosure Probably not no. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a big commitment when you get something like a Cayman. Yeah. I probably what I'll end up doing when they get that size is building two of these or building more along the lines of a 20 by 20. Yeah. Um, Cause I'd also like to interact with the Cayman in the water and stuff, which we would be able to do that with this enclosure. Yeah. We're going to build a door over on that side. So we'll be able to get inside the enclosure while they're in there. Yeah. And we're gonna work, yeah, we got a whole lot of work to do on this still. Yep. Drainage, just starting with the frame first. Gonna work on getting a pond liner. Um, since we got most of the pond, you know, area where it's actually gonna be having water. Yeah, because after so we get it framed in, finished. we're gonna put a pond liner in there to make it waterproof. Yeah, so I wanna get some bioactive, I wanna get some live plants growing in here. Um, maybe a nice little cichlid colony or some you know, some yo-yo loaches, a bunch of South American fishies, fish, African fish. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna, we'll update you again later. Yep. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.